Hey, what is up guys? Your boy Angel back for another video. In this video, we're going to be playing WWE 2K16, guys. Uh, we're just letting, letting the screen load up. So yeah, guys, as you can see, the way the menu is set up is much more different than 2K15. I'll be recording a video on 2K15 later today or maybe tomorrow. Uh, this video is going to go up maybe today. We were thinking of doing 2K Showcase, but we decided to do my career mode. And now we're going to load up the screen. Let's go into my profile, which is up here right now. And we're going to load up the profile. Let's let this thing load up. I hope it doesn't take too long because that's the only thing 2K has to uh, perfect their stuff on that. Try and load up anything that we have on the game. Load it up faster than it already is because it has to load up faster you know it's like it takes forever to just load one match and <laughs> you're gonna see what I'm talking about so yeah guys here is the my career mode screen when you're already ready let's go into the rankings for the US title let's see when it loads up okay so as you can see guys I am rank 4 I started at rank 10 like anybody else uh, yeah so and then I moved my way up to rank 4. I was the NXT champion ch uh, for one day. Uh, not because I lost the title. I actually messed up. I started at rank 10, moved my way up, beat Kevin Owens for the NXT championship. And then, since I unlocked all the other championships, because I, m I made it to the main, I was promoted to the main roster, I decided to go for the US title. I didn't think I was going to get the NXT title taken away. It gives you usually a message saying, oh, you're going to lose all these privileges, all these other stuff. But it never told me that I was going to lose the NXT championship. Well, I made a mistake and I did that. So, oh well. <laughs> so I had to start from the beginning. So now I'm ranked four in the US title challenge. What I'm trying to do is try and hold it for as long as possible and try and hold every single title for at least one time, two or three times each. Um, and one of these days, I actually want to try and hold one of the titles for 365 days. So basically a whole year without getting beat, like for the title at all. Then after the US title, we're moving on to the Intercontinental Championship, which is who the champion? Ryback. And we're thinking of exactly starting from the bottom again. Uh, then after that, after those two, we're going to go for the Tag Team Championship Division. Uh, as you can see, the primetime players are the Tag Team Champions. Uh, we got so many uh, Tag Team Partners right here. We're thinking that we're probably going to be teaming up with The Rock or someone else. It depends. I don't know if we get to choose our own Tag Team Partner or they, the game just automatically chooses our partner like for no reason. And then after that, we're going to be moving on to, last but not least, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. The title holder is... Uh, Seth Rollins. Um, and they, that, that's basically it, guys. Now we're going to go move on uh, into our match, which we're facing Daniel Bryan, as you can see. You like my shirt, guys? It's so awesome. It has a big wolf on the bottom. Uh, should we run into the match with Bray Wyatt and Ryback, or should... Let's see. Let's decide. You know what? I'm gonna go run into the match Batista against The Rock. We're gonna do a run in at mid match and we're gonna go support The Rock. We want him to be our tag team partner just in case we run into some trouble with, uh, I don't know, some familiar faces while I'm in the run for the US title. As you can see, guys, um, I gotta face Daniel Bryan. My name is Sub Zero. <laughs> well, my character's name is Sub Zero. Yeah, and I got Rosa Mendez as my manager, which is weird. But yeah, it is, she is my manager. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video, which will translude from this one to the next one.